Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Bloodborne. So last time we finally finished up in the Nightmare of Mincis by getting our hands on the infamous Blood Rock. And we had to get past not two, not three, but four motherfucking jellyfish to get the goddamn thing. It was one of the worst experiences of my adult life. Okay, that's an exaggeration, but I really hate the jellyfish. Even though they're not actually jellyfish, they're, uh, they're brains. Okay, I hear people crying like everywhere, and I see a dude cleaning the floor. Is it you? Do you just really hate your job? I don't think it's you, but I can lock onto you so you know what that means. You gotta die. And I one shot you. And we got booty. One blood vial. You know what? I'll take that. We only have eight, so that's actually extremely handy. Anyway, so yeah, I... We then, uh, what the bloody hell do... Oh, what the hell is that? Why did you just appear out of nowhere? That is creepy as shit. You're like a bell lady minus the bell. Oh, oh god, there's one behind me. Okay. Apparently they die quite easy, but I imagine they hit like trucks. Because, you know, everything in this game does. Anyway, so then we took Arcane Her Summons to the weird glowing pillar thing in, uh, Hemwick, next to the two executioners. And then a horse and cart, well, two horses and a cart showed up with no driver. And we got in and we got taken to Kanehurst. And then we got here and the. What the hell? Rita Pal Palishlashen? Yeah, that's what it's called. Okay, so it's like a jousting sword and a gun or something, and we can't wield it because... Yeah, we don't have enough blood tinge. In other words, gun skill. Well, alright then. Anyway, so yeah, when we arrived at Kanehurst, the horses were dead and the, uh, the car was all frozen up. It was the weirdest shit. Speaking of weird shits, like what the hell is going on with the weird ladies appearing out of nowhere? is creeping me the balls out. And there are more now. See, yeah, now they're like almost invisible, but not completely. And then I get near them and they become completely visible. Ow. Okay, they didn't do that much damage, but uh, I imagine they probably do have something that can destroy me. But anyway, so the other ones seem to just appear completely out of nowhere. Whereas these ones were kind of partially visible. It's weird. I don't know what's causing that. It's freaking me the hell out. I still hear the crying. What the hell is doing that? It's got to be something, right? Maybe it's just ambience, but it seems kind of unlikely. I thought at first it was the dude cleaning the floor, but now I'm wondering if it's these weird ladies. So maybe that means there are more of them around here because they seem to be just springing up out of nowhere. Maybe they're like infinitely respawning like the freaking ponies in the uh, the Ivory King DLC or something, or maybe there's just a butt ton of them. What the hell is this? Nothing? Really? It looks so damn important. Okay, so we got a split in path. That looks like a doorway up there, so we're gonna go up here because I don't see a door here, which means it's probably a dead end. It apparently has an ambush full of the, uh, the weird chicks with the daggers. Now, don't you try and stab me. That's a bad ghost lady. Okay, and they also don't seem to be dropping jack shits. Or rather, they do seem to be drop dropping jack shits. Okay, there's more over here. I think I see one. Yes, I do. I see a ghost lady. How about you? Can I knock you off the side? Yeah, I can. I enjoyed that. What the hell are you praying to? Is he praying to the dead body? Or is there like something up there on the wall that I'm not seeing? I don't know. Well, we got a chunk. Did I? Did you drop anything? No. See, so, yeah, I don't know if they can drop anything, but uh, is that? It's just a regular plank on the wall. Well, all right then. Maybe there's something super secret there, I don't really know, but eh, it doesn't seem like it. Hello? How's it going? I always love when you go into like weird haunted places like this and all the candles are lit. And there's always people that are like, it's so unrealistic. The candles can possibly still be lit. It's a freaking game with magic and ghosts and monsters and shit. The last thing you should be worrying about when it comes to realism is whether candles will burn out or not. Like, holy shit, what the hell are you and what are you doing? Well, you're dying. I'm down with that. Speaking of dying, you get out of here. Okay. And is there anything over here? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, so that seems to be the only way we can go. Ambush? Really? I hear more crying. I bet what I'm gonna get. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I knew that was gonna be an ambush. There's no way they leave an item in a big open room like that with seemingly no enemies. Yeah, kind of obvious. Also, was it just me, or uh, did the lights go out when I picked up the item? 
Maybe that was just uh, some kind of weird lighting glitch, but no, I think the lights actually went out. That's kind of awesome and also spooky as shit. Ow! Stop doing that! They remind me of the ghosts from New London Ruins, but much less deadly. But much louder. Can I see a chest over yonder? God damn it, Chair, get out of the way! Okay, anything else around here? Oh, there's another one of you! You get out of here! That's my booty! You will not be protecting it from me! Okay, let's look at the chest! And what do we get? We had a noble dress. Hold on just for a second here. Can I equip this bad boy? Hell yes I can! Now we're styling and profiling. God, I look so good. I even have a dainty hat. Okay, is there nothing over here? It's like a weird glow. Okay, I guess it's nothing. Well, alright, let's take our newly acquired dress and... Do I have my monocular on the bar? No, of course I don't. Well, let's get rid of the golden coins because they suck. And we'll use our monocular and check out the paintings, because, you know, we don't stop and smell the flowers enough, or look at the paintings. Okay, so I guess these are like... the... Dukes, or Kings, or Queens, or Princes, or something of Kanehurst. I think we're in a castle, so it would make sense. Though who bloody knows. Anything out here to ambush me? Anything at all? I guess not. So, okay, I see a lot over there in the distance. I don't know if that's just a skybox or if that's somewhere we can actually go. I have no idea. Okay. Sting lag of enemies! Always worries me. It's over here. Really? No secret booty? It's like a prime freaking location, man. What the hell? Oh, shit! <laughs> that scared the fuck out of me. I had no idea that thing was alive. Jesus. I gotta say, I'm quite proud of my reflexes there. It's... it... Oh, hi. Yeah, you're definitely alive. It's one of those things you just program into your brain, you're like, if something suddenly jumps out of me, press the fucking dodge button. That's all my brain knows what to do. What the hell are you doing, sir? The hell are you doing? It's like one of the gargoyles from Dark Souls, except... mentally challenged, we'll put it that way. Okay, so it looks like we can go up there, this... I, I saw a staircase over here, I'm guessing this is just what it leads to, yeah. Okay, so that seems pointless, except maybe if we're getting past the gargoyle dude, but, you know... He's dead, so... Guess it don't really matter all that much. Okay, well this looks like a tower, and I see a gargoyle up there. This looks like a tower that probably doesn't go anywhere, so we'll go up here. Hello, sir! Yeah! Yeah! That'll teach you. Is he dead? He's not dead. Oh, there we go, we got the souls. What the bloody hell did he die? Oh, well, whatever. Oh, shit. Okay, I thought I could land on that. Kinda did, kinda didn't. And yes, there are many half-naked statues all over the place. It's kinda creepy. Oh, shit! I just spoiled it the last second. Okay, no, 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 no! Damn, I wanna backstab you. Well, you're dead, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, more broken statues. And what looks like a boss room to me? Oh, there's a dude in there. Maybe it's not, unless you're the boss? I don't think you are. You look like a couple of the enemies we've killed already. Yeah, ow! Oh, he's got like a little justy sword. He's probably got that rat rat thing that we picked up. I, I don't remember what it was even called. So I can't really attempt to fuck up the name because I don't remember what it said in the first place. Okay, so what's going on over here? More broken statues. Gotta say, there's a distinct lack of enemies so far. I was expecting this place to be pretty bloody difficult. I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be a section or two like that. You're not alive, really. But, yeah, so far, so good. Okay, so we got a split pathway. Let's try going over here, I guess. Yeah, maybe. I see a chest. And I think I see a lever over there. Okay, so, I remember there was a lift right back at the beginning, so I imagine that's probably going to be the one. So we pretty much want to grab that, I would say. We've got a notebook about vile bloods. Interesting. Okay, well anyways, take the lift, and hopefully, this is going to be where we need to go. Also, I will be right back. Okay, sorry about that, I'm back. So, moment of truth. Is this indeed right back at the beginning? Yes, it is. Okay, since we only have 11 blood vials, I'm going to go back to Hunter's Dream. I'll probably put another point into Arcane, and I'm also going to repair 
all Maze of Doom, and then get, you know, 20 blood vials back. So, I'll probably cut out all that shit, and I'll see you back at the lift. Ding! Going up, sir. Have a nice day, sir. Okay, so, what the hell is going on in this room? Apparently more of the spooky, scary skeleton, not skeleton ghost people. Okay, how many of them are there? Seemingly a metric fuckton. Oh, there's one there as well. Okay, so there's even more than I even first saw. Don't you dare hit me. How dare you hit a lady. Okay, we're gonna be fine, man. We're gonna be just fine. But so far, these things seem really easy. Then again, they've only hit us like twice total, I think. But when they did, didn't do much damage. Oh, it doesn't go anywhere. Though it was fun. But, uh, yeah. I really want to kind of try and jump on one of the hits. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's kind of what I was about to say. I was going to say, yeah, they've probably got more moves and stuff that we just haven't seen yet. Yes, yes, they do. I don't know what that is. Bonsai! Get you. I don't know how you didn't fall down. I guess you're a ghost, so... Maybe that explains it. I don't really know. I mean, you know, if a ghost can die, you'd think a ghost could fall down. Though, I, it's weird. Like, if you ever saw the movie Ghost with Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore, I'm sure a lot of you have. Probably a lot of you also haven't, but a lot of you probably did. It always really bothered me. The the whole what the hell are you? Oh well, you're dead. It was like a weird shaman looking thing. I don't even know. Maybe that was the librarian. Well, whatever. Anyway, so if you saw the movie Ghost of Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore, it always really bothered me that when he you know spoilers here when he fucking dies, which was the whole point of the movie, when he dies and becomes a ghost, he can't corporally interact with anything. At first, anyway. He has to learn how to do that. So, like, he tries to touch... Like, he tries to, like, jump at the guy who killed him and stuff like that, and he goes right through them. It... So, yeah, fair enough. And yet, he can also pass straight through doors and stuff like that. Okay, fair enough. Why can you stand on the fucking ground, then? Why don't you sink into the very earth itself? Also, he walked up a set of stairs. That really pissed me off. Like, okay, I can kind of accept the ground, because otherwise there would be no movie. But why can he walk up a solid set of stairs, but you can walk straight through doors? Don't make no damn sense. That really pissed me off. My weapon is busted already. Holy freaking shit. Well, that's no good. I mean, we did kill a lot of women. Did I forget to fix it? I may have forgotten to fix it. That's, uh, that's a problem. That's... Oh, shit. You blow darting me? I think so, yes. Okay, so you're not a shaman, you just kind of look a little bit like one. It's carrying, like, a, a candlestick? I don't know. Maybe they are the librarians. I have no idea. I guess it would make a certain degree of sense. Also, is there anything over here? No. Really? Well, where the hell do I go? I have no freaking idea. Hello? Booty? Monsters? Anything? Oh, God. I didn't want you. I didn't want you. Holy shit! Okay, the little jousty fellas! They're quite dangerous! They are, they are quite dangerous. Stop doing that, you s Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. It's like a mini lost sinner. I even got the rags and everything. What the hell is going on? I'm being blow dyed again. I don't know where from. Apparently behind me. Let's deal with this guy first, because, uh, yeah, otherwise that's probably gonna happen. Please just die, sir or madam. I don't know what you are, but you need to die. Okay. I'm calm, don't worry, we're gonna be fine. I may be panicking slightly right now. There's a freaking chair, yeah. Suck on that. Even furniture doesn't survive around Jason Statham in a goddamn dress. Okay. I was gonna say, I waited to listen now, and I'm still here, I'm still here crying. Oh, hello. How's it going? Don't be poking me with your poker stick. No. Oh, God, you're alive. Holy shit. I really thought you were gonna die. Okay, and by the way, if you see me flailing around a dead body, I think I've explained this before, but I'm sure some people miss that or whatever. It's because for a little tiny bit after you kill an enemy, you can get some more HP back. So usually it's a good idea. Again, I feel like that's a bug. I hope they fix it, but it's not the end of the world. You could kind of argue that, eh, they still bleed for a little bit after they're dead, even though that's a really gross way to look at it, but it also makes a degree of sense. Though then again, it also, when you think about it, makes no bloody sense because people bleed for pretty much permanently after they're dead. It's not like dying stops you bleeding, it's just you only have so much blood in your body and when it's gone, it's gone. I don't know. I'm not an expert on blood. Also, I am lost to shit right now. 
Don't hear any more crying? That's a good sign. It sounds like maybe we've killed everything, at least in the immediate area. Okay, so I... Oh, I hear crying again. Son of a bitch. Well, looks like we have to go out here. Oh, we drop down there. Okay, careful, careful. Oh, God. Okay, we're fine. And we got some quicksilver bullets. Well, you know. Handy, I guess. Sounds like the crying's coming from, like, right next to me. Like, in the... Oh, shit. In the wall on the left, but that's where I just was. So maybe I missed some enemies? I don't know. What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you actually doing? And yeah, I guess we're gonna have to go with the Ludwig Holy Blade. Oh, you dick. Somehow I still got you. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to go with the Ludwig Holy Blade, at least for now. Because, you know, otherwise... Eh, we're gonna break the mace. And I've never actually broken a... What the hell? Did you just sneeze at me? Bless you, sir. But yeah, I, I don't know what happens when you actually break a weapon in this game. It probably doesn't really matter that much. It might just cost a little bit extra to fix it or something. But I don't want to do it just in case. Oh, shit, now I know why I could hear a gazillion women screaming. Or crying. Crying, screaming, it's all the same shit to me. The, uh, that, that, that's, uh, that's screaming. That's scr you took your head off? How very, uh, Phantom of the Opera of you. Not that that was his head, but you get my points. Okay, please. Please just die. There's a couple over in the corner. They're having a chat. Don't mind if I interrupt your chat, do you? Oh, they mind. They mind. They freaking mind. Okay. I feel like we're about... Oh, God. No. No, 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 no. Move. Move right freaking now. Holy shit. No, stop. Stop trapping me in your web of lies. What the hell? Ow. Jesus. You can have someone's eye out with that thing. What the hell are you doing? No. No. Stop poking me! Oh my god! Die! You haven't died. I, I, please, I request that you die. Thank you. Jesus. Anyway, I was about to say I feel like we're about to die. They don't seem that dangerous, even when they do trap you with that magical bullshit. But it's who knows? Who knows what happens if like three of them go ham on me? We got executioner's gloves. Okay, well, let's check them out. If I can, I can find them. Can't help but notice, uh, they don't actually seem to be in the glove section. So I'm gonna guess they're probably gonna be another arcane item, probably in here somewhere. Yes. Summon Wrathful Spirits. And they look pretty goddamn badass. I mean, not that you can actually wear them. But yeah, I, I really kind of almost wish that we went down the arcane routes, now that I know that. But when I originally started Bloodborne, I didn't even know there was such a thing. I had no idea there was magic in this game. I was told, no, there's no magic, there's no shields. Whereas there is one shield and there is definitely magic, so... Frankly, I think I got lied to, but you know, whatever. But yeah, I'm sure I'll do an arcane run at some point. I mean, I've raised arcane a little bit on this guy. We have 14. There really is a little bit. But you know... Eventually, I'm sure we'll do an arcane run or something. It seems to be my thing, you know? I do, like, walkthroughs as mages. I don't know why. It's just... It's a thing I do. I guess because it's different. Most people never play mages, so they never really see what they like, blah, blah, blah. So, I like to try and, you know, show people. Okay, well, anyway... I can't help but know this. That we seem to be in a dead end. And we drop down here. So... Where the balls do I go? Because if this is a dead end, I don't think there was anywhere to go outside. Yeah. Uh... Well, wait a minute. What the hell's over here? Oh, it's the chest. Am I missing something? Well, I have to be, but... What the bloody hell am I missing? Hello? Is there like a lever or a doorway I missed? Anything at all. Oh, 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 okay, so we drop down here. Well, thank Christ for that. Don't know if we can drop down there. I imagine we have to run across here. Kind of looks like it. I imagine if we drop down there, we'll just die. So I don't really want to try that. Okay, that's clearly where we got to go. So, you know, that means we got to try going this way, if it lets us. Oh, it does. Okay, hey! And we found some secret booty. What do we get? King Cobbler. Okay, I think that's worth 8k. Holy shit! Okay, don't want to be finding you here, sir. Do not want to be finding you here. Yeah, I will wail away on you. No, no, no. There we go. Now you can fall off the edge. Okay, well, we've got the secret booty. Let's go jump in here, I guess. Oh, speaking of levers, we found one. I get the feeling this one's going to be quite important. 
I was expecting a cutscene. Yeah, okay, so it opens that. I was gonna say that's like a different color from everything else. Right, so I guess we're probably back somewhere we were before? Yeah, I think I recognize this. But the problem is, this is still somewhere we've been. So I don't know where the hell to go, so I guess I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I always appreciate a like, and I will see you next time for more Bloodborne.